to my channel and welcome if you're new here it's monday so it is meal prep day this week i kind of made a fun spin on meal prep we have three very simple fast and easy recipes things that you can make in less than an hour all three of them in less than an hour not counting cooling time of the bars but the overall cooking an hour or less so it's a great way to meal prep for success for the week in a little amount of time a lot of you say that you just don't have time to meal prep well this week's three recipes you have time for because they are so fast so simple delicious low point healthy clean recipes so i can't wait to share this speed meal prep with you so make sure if you're new that you are subscribed because i do upload a meal prep video every single monday make sure your bells hit so you don't miss a single one and if you love meal prep videos give this one a big thumbs up make sure you're checking out that description box that's where you're going to find the link to head over to my website where all three of these recipes will be for you to recreate. Also links and discount codes to my favorite things will be down in the description box. And of course the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us over there. So come on over and join the community. Again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on Monday. Let's jump into this week's easy peasy breezy meal prep. week I am making apple protein oatmeal so I modified the original recipe which will be linked on my website to make this a little more protein packed because I'm all about getting in my protein for breakfast so let me show you what's in our oatmeal so for protein, I'm gonna use the Live Well Plant Protein. This is the natural, so it is unflavored. And what I love about this is you get 23 grams of complete protein, which is five more, I'm sorry, six more grams than the flavored versions of Live Well, and it's complete. So it's great protein, everything you need. Has 22 grams of amino acids and zero sugar and zero flavor so it's really nice to add to things that you don't want to change the flavor so i want this oatmeal to have the apple cinnamon flavor so i'm going to add a half of a scoop of this per bowl so that i'm getting in about 11 and a half grams of protein which is amazing for oatmeal so highly recommend live well i know this is a plant protein but it does not taste like plant protein there's no chalkiness no aftertaste and literally this one has zero flavor but you get all the benefits of a good quality protein powder so highly recommend you guys know i have every flavor of live well but i actually do use the natural a lot when i don't want to change the flavor but add some protein almond milk i'm just going to use this great value almond milk oats i have this one from thrive you guys these oats are fabulous they're organic which you always want to buy your oats organic or they're heavily sprayed with glycosate which is the active ingredient in roundup so this farmers we know i bought this off of thrive i will link thrive down below you do get a free gift up to 22 dollars when you join thrive so definitely join the thrive market you're also going to need some coconut oil maple syrup a couple of good sized apples these are pink ladies some cinnamon and some ginger as well as some chopped pecans now my pecans are from nut stop you guys know i love nut stop they're super super affordable there is a link down below for 10 percent off and free shipping it is not an affiliate link it's just 10 percent off for you but i love that you can buy the pecans chopped in a one pound bag for a great price so that's everything in our oatmeal so let's get started so the first step is i'm going to chop my apples i'm going to give these a quick wash i am not going to peel them now you can peel them if you would like but i'm going to keep the peel on i'm going to chop them up toss them here in this bowl <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna do is cook down our apples. So I have one half of a tablespoon of coconut oil, one half of a tablespoon of maple syrup, 
here in a skillet. I'm going to add the apples that we chopped up. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add in some ground cinnamon. Now, I love cinnamon, so I'm just going to liberally add it. I say do it to your taste. I believe the recipe calls for about a half of a teaspoon. I'm going to at least double that. And then we're going to stir this and let these apples cook and simmer in the oil and the maple syrup. Look at these apples. My house smells so good. I'm getting complete fall vibes, which... I'm here for. So this is the cooked down apples. So now we're ready to start putting together our bowls. So the original recipe wants you to actually cook the oatmeal on the stove. I'm going to do mine overnight oat style only because it's going to sit in the fridge anyway. So I'm not going to pre-cook my oats. I'm just going to let them become overnight oats. So to do that, it's very, very simple. I have one and a half cups of oats here. I am going to do one third of a cup and then just a tiny bit over that per bowl. I'm making four bowls total. Sorry guys, my camera battery died. I don't know if that sh it showed, but I put one half of a cup of almond milk in with my oats. And then I am going to put a total of one half of a tablespoon of maple syrup. So just under a teaspoon of maple syrup per bowl. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball that just a tiny, tiny bit. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of my chopped pecans per bowl. So there's one tablespoon of those. And then I'm going to add one fourth of the delicious apples. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about these apples. And then lastly, I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of the Live Well Unflavored Protein Powder. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir really quick. Just get everything combined really well. And the last thing that we're going to add to our apple oatmeal is going to be some cinnamon and some ginger. This looks so good, it smells delicious. So here is some ground cinnamon. I'm just going to add that to taste. And then same with ground ginger. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of that because ginger is pretty potent. Give it one last stir. And then I'm going to just put the lid on this and pop this in the refrigerator. And then tomorrow I will have protein overnight oats without using Premier Protein or things that don't have good ingredients. You can make it yourself with some really good quality protein powder like Live Well. This looks good. This smells so good. So all I'm going to do is pop a lid on it throw it in the refrigerator, and tomorrow morning I have protein overnight oats. So here is the completed protein oatmeal. I'm telling you it smells really good very fall-esque which again i'm definitely here for so each one of these bowls i have them ready to go for for the week is eight points on both the blue and the green plan and only five points on the purple plan because the oats are zero points they are 330 calories per bowl and remember we are getting oh, almost 12 grams of protein just from the protein powder plus the little bit that's in the almond milk and the nuts so this is actually a good protein breakfast if you add protein powder to your oats. You do not taste it, especially with the Live Well Natural, and it just pumps up the protein. So check out Live Well. It is linked down below with 10% off, but this is breakfast for four days this week, and I am super excited. For my lunch this week, I'm making homemade buffalo chicken burgers, aka turkey burgers because I could not find ground chicken at my local store. So I'm substituting with turkey, which to me is basically the same thing. This is a very, very simple but amazing recipe. So let me show you what's in the burgers, the bun I'm going to use, and then of course I'm gonna pair these with some vegetables just for that little bit of extra veggie. So let me show you what's in our burgers. First you'll need a pound of either ground chicken or ground turkey. So I'm just using this 99% extra lean ground turkey crumbled blue cheese, light or reduced fat sour cream, whatever buffalo sauce is of your choice. I love this Noble Made. It has fantastic ingredients. 
No other buffalo sauce on the market has clean ingredients like this does. So this is my favorite. I did purchase this off of Thrive. And again, Thrive with a free gift is linked down below. And then you'll also need some Worcestershire sauce. So that's everything for the burgers. I'm going to pair them with these organic green beans from Trader Joe's. I'm just going to divide these up frozen into my meal prep containers. And then they just cook when you warm it up in the microwave. And then I'll be having my burger on one of these great value hamburger buns. These are the lowest point buns in my area. They are 100 calories or three smart points. So let's make some buffalo turkey burgers. So I'm going to go ahead and make up the burger portion. I added my pound of ground turkey here to a bowl and all I'm going to do is add the buffalo sauce. Now I would say add it to your liking. It's generally zero points. It's zero calories for the most part. I believe this noble made one. This one has 15 calories per tablespoon but I don't count it as points. Now I do count it of course into my calories, but I don't count it into my points. So really simple. We're just going to mix buffalo sauce in with our ground meat, just to the consistency and the taste that you like. And then we're just gonna fry these up. So I have it all mixed up. This looks so good. I just grabbed out my flat skillet. And what I'm going to do is just form these into four patties. It makes four servings, so we want our patties as equal as we can. So it's about a quarter of a pound per patty. And then we're gonna just fry these up on the stove. You could barbecue these if you have the option to toss these on your outdoor grill. But for me, my husband is not here to fire up the grill. I'm just going to cook them on my little skillet here. And again, I did spray that with some nonstick cooking spray. So let's assemble these four patties and get them on the stove. So here are the four burgers. These are pretty good size so I'm just going to let these cook down while these are cooking we are going to make the sauce that we're going to top the burgers with so for the sauce and this is going to top the burger when we go to eat it I have four tablespoons of crumbled blue cheese now if you are not a blue cheese fan you could certainly substitute this with feta or a different cheese whatever your preference is I also have four tablespoons of the light sour cream. You could use full fat sour cream as well. I have this light on hand. I'm going to go ahead and use it up. Also saves a little bit on points. I definitely prefer full fat dairy, but for something like this where it's simply just topping a burger, I'm not really that worried about it. And then a quarter of a tablespoon of, I'm sorry. Yeah. A quarter teaspoon. Wow. Of Worcestershire sauce. So just a very little bit of that. And then we're going to stir this together and then we'll put this into our little to-go containers and then each day we will top our burger once it's on our bun with a little bit of this sauce and it'll bring in that blue cheese that sour cream vibe that you get whenever you have buffalo wings or buffalo burgers at a restaurant <laughs> Look at how delicious these look, you guys. These are just about done. And then we're gonna put together the final meal prep. Burgers are done. Look at these bad boys. These look amazing. So I have my little dressing per burger. So I'm just going to add the burger patty to my meal prep. And then I'm just going to put the dressing in with each of them. I am not going to add the bun to my meal prep. I actually keep my buns in the freezer so that they last a long time. So each day before I go to eat my burger, what I will do is go ahead and pull out a bun out of the freezer, let it defrost a little bit, and then that's the bun that I'll have with that day's burger. But this looks so delicious. Look at that. And we're going to top it with that yummy dressing that we made. So let's add the green beans here to the meal prep container, and then we'll go over points and calories. <music> So here is lunch, another super quick and easy recipe. That's the theme of this week's meal prep, you guys, quick and easy. You don't have to spend hours in the kitchen. This is a very simple, literal 15 minute prep for lunch. So for the burger itself, and that includes the dressing, the blue cheese type of topping that we made. It is two smart points on both the blue and purple plan and three on the green plan because you do have to account for the 99% ground turkey that is zero on blue and purple on green. So three for green, two for blue and purple, 172 calories for the burger and the sauce, 
without the bun. So if you added a three point bun, that would make this five points on blue and purple and six on green. And then you'd add another 100 calories. So your whole lunch for the burger and sauce is 272 calories with the bun. And then of course your calories for green beans, which are very, very minimal. You could add some salt and pepper, a little bit of butter to those. So that is lunch, you guys. Five smart points for me because I am on the blue plan and I cannot wait. This looks so good, a nice clean whole food lunch. For a snack this week, we are making homemade clean eating granola bars. Again, you guys, a very, very simple recipe. So let me show you what is in these granola bars. By the way, I've been craving granola bars that aren't too high in points. So I'm pretty excited for this recipe. First you'll need some rolled oats. These are those same oats from the Thrive Market. I'm going to be using monk fruit sweetener, some type of unsweetened coconut flakes. I just have the toasted ones. You could use regular ones. Ground flax seed. If you do not have flax meal, you can take whole flax and grind it up yourself. So that's an option as well. You'll also need some vanilla extract and some ground cinnamon maple syrup and unsweetened applesauce i'm going to be using these slivered almonds i love these they're almost gone another product from nutstop so definitely check out nutstop down below and i'm going to sub the cranberries for these dried bean cherries just because i want to use these up i count these as zero points there's no added sugar it's literally just a dried cherry so when i figured the points out i count these as zero and then lastly a little bit of salt so let's make granola bars so the first thing we need to do for our granola bars is in a bowl we're going to add two and a half cups of rolled oats i have one cup of slivered almonds and half of a cup of ground flax the original recipe also called for sesame seeds i omitted those just because i don't have any on hand and saved me a little bit of points that way too and i don't love them in granola bars so we're just going to mix this together i have my oven preheating to 325 i'm going to grab out a sheet pan and we're going to toast up these oats and almonds and flax for about 20 minutes at 325. While the oats are in the oven, in a microwave safe bowl, I am just using the same bowl I just used for the oats. We are going to add one half of a cup of raw honey, four tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce. Now the original recipe called for coconut oil. I am hoping these bars set up without the coconut oil because that's what helps solidify things. I'm hoping that this works, saves a lot of points by using the applesauce. We're going to add in some vanilla, my vanilla is from Thrive. I love this vanilla. It's super, super affordable. About a teaspoon of that and a quarter cup of my monk fruit sweetener or whatever sweetener you're using. Go ahead and give that a stir. So this is what the mixture looks like. This is going in the microwave on high for one minute. I'll pull it out, I'll stir it and toss it back in for about 30 more seconds. It will boil, so don't be alarmed if it does boil. What we're trying to do is get that sugar to mix in well with the rest of the ingredients. In a large bowl, we're going to add the dried cherries. I have just under a cup of the dried cherries, one half of a cup of coconut flakes, a little pinch of salt, and of course some cinnamon, which is going to really bring out those yummy granola bar flavors. And then we are just going to mix this together. When our oats come out of the oven, we're gonna add those directly to the bowl here with the cherries, coconut, cinnamon, and salt. That is why we chose a large bowl to mix everything together in. All right, I just pulled out the oats. These smell really good. So what I'm going to do, they are still really hot, or the pan is, is I'm going to go ahead and add these to the large bowl, the one that we had the cherries and the nuts in. So we're going to go ahead and do that, mix that together before we add in the honey mixture. So we're going to give that a quick stir once we have all the oats in. They smell really good toasted. Almonds or nuts in general always taste better, a little bit toasty. So get that nice and combined because you've got just, you know, the cherries and things in there. And then lastly, we have the liquid mixture that was in the microwave. I am hoping to goodness 
it sets up without the coconut oil, but this will be a good trial for us. And then we are going to stir really well. We want to make sure that the dry ingredients get fully incorporated with the wet ingredients so that it doesn't just fall apart when we go to cut this into a bar. So mix really, really well. Use a wooden spoon or a really tough spatula, one that doesn't bend very much to make sure everything is combined really, really well. All right, so I pulled that same sheet pan out. I have my bowl of the granola bar mixture. We're gonna go ahead and add it directly to the same sheet pan that we toasted the oats. No reason to dirty up another one. And then we are going to spread this out evenly on the sheet pan, push it down so that when it cools, hopefully crossing our fingers, not using coconut oil, it still forms a perfect little granola bar. So I'm going to get this as even as I can on my sheet pan. I'm pressing as I go. All right, there it is. I kind of pushed it, you can see away from the side here and formed it more into a big rectangle. I think it'll be easier to cut these into bars once they're cooled. So these are actually going to go into the refrigerator for a couple of hours to harden. Now, what I'm thinking is worst case scenario, let's talk worst case scenario. If they don't hold together as bars, this would be a killer granola. We could add it to yogurt. Oh, it'd be great as a granola. So either way, we're going to use this, but let's pop this in the fridge for two hours. So I just pulled out the granola bars. So they are definitely soft, but you guys, I think that they held together enough for me to cut these into bars. So I'm gonna make 16 servings. So let me cut these up and I'll be back to show you the bars, give you points and calories. I'm pretty darn excited. So here they are, they're all cut up. Here is one of the bars. So it is, like I said, it's soft but it held up so what i'm going to do i wanted to show you guys these but i'm going to go ahead and put the wrap back on it and throw it back in the refrigerator for a while longer but i'm pretty excited that these actually held up and this is a great size bar this is about the size of a granola bar that you buy in the store which with much much healthier ingredients so for points and calories if you cut your bars into 16 bars, they are going to be five smart points on both the blue and green plan and only four points on the purple plan. So you actually get to save yourself a point for the oats. They're 175 calories a piece. Now, if you decided to cut them into 21 bars, you can save a point. So they'd be four on blue and green and three on purple, but 175 calories and five points for a clean eating, granola bar. I'm excited. So again, this is the completed granola bar. This here is the size. I'm, I really am excited to have these throughout the week. They'd be great for on the go pre post workout snack. Yes, please. Thank you so much for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. Like I mentioned, these were simple, fast recipes. Everyone has time to meal prep these three recipes for sure. And they are all absolutely delicious, clean eating, point friendly, calorie friendly, all the things. So you definitely wanna make all three of these. You will find these recipes on my website. My website is linked in the description box down below. Also, all the links and discount codes to some of my favorite things and the link to head over and join us on my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. Make sure you're subscribed and that you click that little bell so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Again, I meal prep every Monday, so you don't wanna miss out. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed these three recipes. And thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And I'll see you all in the next video.